أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم is a reminder that the heavens teach us the best example. The heavens teach us the best example shamsi wal qamar that the sun and the moons are traversing the reality of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad They teach us the perfection of character that lose everything and annihilate yourself and what you want and what you think you are and follow the sun and put all your nazar upon the sun means your nazar upon Sayyidina Muhammad Your life should be focusing on the reality of Prophet on the love of Sayyidina Muhammad how to, to praise and to honour Sayyidina Muhammad He's not in need of our honour but we are in need to honour that reality, to love that reality, to cherish that reality. Allah said, I wouldn't have sent it and starting by negation that I would not have sent but it is a, a rahmah for all of my creation. Alhamdulillah only Allah come into our lives and teach us that keep your focus on Prophet and focus on those who love Sayyidina Muhammad and almost every word from their heart and from their lips is in the praising and glorification of Allah with the praisings and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad They teach us that, Ya Rabbi, let me to be those who constantly asking for forgiveness and washing away my sins and live a life of the mutahireen that they're constantly purifying themselves. Awliya Allah are moving in that reality and anybody who comes into their associations, comes into their precincts and into their areas immediately is carried upon their fulu. Anyone who comes into the association their soul is swimming with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad in the oceans of Rahmah. The souls become elevated and powerful and that's what they mean by raising the reality of the followers. And they enter through the Holy Qur'an because every reality is the Holy Qur'an. That ship is moving into the oceans of Surat al-Yaseen which is the heart of Holy Qur'an. And Sayyidina Muhammad name is Yaseen alayhi salatu salam Habibullah. Allah has an ancient love for Sayyidina Muhammad Allah wanting to please, wanting to make Prophet to be happy and raise Prophet to that Divine Presence. And they teach us that that Ya begins to open its realities and that Ya is the secrets of Yaqeen. Yaqeen is the oceans of certainty. The seen in Nur al-Anwar, Sirat al-Asrar is the secret of our whole existence. The soul is moving into the presence of Prophet into the heart of Prophet and Prophet wanting to open for us the fountain of all realities. Allah just says, my uncreated holy speech emanating from that soul's heart. Don't think of it a physicality, think of it in the world of light. And Allah want to take ashiqeen into that heart. Allah. 
the amount of power coming out is unimaginable. This huge emanating force is coming out. All realities, everything in existence comes from Holy Qur'an. Allah just says, if I reveal my Qur'an to the mountain, the mountain will be qashya, will be dust. But I reveal it to the heart of Prophet and his firm Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties including all your financing needs. We are one-stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 Triple E Realty. Fatima Zara Helping Hand is a non-profit organization with the goal of helping underprivileged communities in Canada. We have currently distributed thousands of pounds of meat from Corban hundreds of loaves of bread, and many other essential food items. Please visit our website nurmuhammad.com to make a donation today. Greatness of Surat Al Yaseen, Allah testifies to this heart, to this reality, Wal Qur'an. Means this Yaseen is the source of my Qur'an, Wa Hakim, and all hikmah and all realities is coming from this fountain. And only Allah wants to take us that come into that Yaseen, alayhi salatu salam. By what? By loving Prophet more than you love yourself. These are the oceans of faith. Because if you don't love Prophet more than you love yourself, eh, you don't think about that. So what Prophet asked his companions, love me more than you love yourself. Means lose yourself, lose all your bad characteristics, lose all of your, your trying to identify yourself, be nothing, be nothing, be nothing and come into that heart. And then begin to dress you with Qur'an, Allah testifies by my Qur'an, I'm going to dress you and bless you and give you every hikmah. Ilma laduni wa hikmati bis saliheen, everything coming from Yaseen That that Ya itself, depending upon which way we're moving in that marifa, the Ya itself contains all uloom al awwaneen wal akhireen because the regular Arabic alphabet is bayna alif wa ya. The regular al alphabet is in the order of alif. And the last letter being Ya. So from Alif to Ya is combined into Ya. In Zalazal dressing that Yaqeen and how to achieve that Yaqeen will dress you from the reality of that Ya. That everything from the Alif, all the 28 letters to the Ya will be put into your heart and every kalam is from those ingredients. Allah, Allah, Allah. 
Everything is from letters. If Allah throw those letters and the reality of those letters into the heart means everything that is comprised of the world of letters, its knowledges are from that ya. From alif to ya all its uloom is in those letters. And those letters are Sayyidina Muhammad It's in the Yaseen and I'm describing now Sayyidina Yaseen salam is contained bayna alif wa ya. Every written word is from these letters, these 28 letters with 29 being lam alif. Every written knowledge is from that, all of that is from Sayyidina Muhammad and what Allah inspire upon the soul and the holy tongue of Prophet all that knowledge and then they dress us from the scene, they dress us from the sir. Our whole life is to seek out the sir and the secret. The secret is from ilmu yaqeen, ayn al yaqeen, haqq yaqeen. Because this ya, ya of yaqeen is going to dress us from all those realities that when Allah just throw into the heart that all the huruf from alif to ya means the heart is filled with the ingredients necessary to bring out all of its realities. Then they begin to teach that come towards the secret if Prophet begin to open the sir into the heart and begin to give you from ilmu yaqeen. These are the knowledges that they teach in these associations. So ilmu yaqeen has to do with haqqaiq, that these are the knowledges of haqqaiq that begins to open. That you have to be fed from the knowledge of realities. Because this is the heart of Prophet wants to now give this treasure, the treasure from the soul of Prophet It's Qanzallah, I think the, what they describe is the only treasure of Allah is from Prophet so I'm going to throw that ya into your heart and yaqeen and every uloom and every letter and anything that been written that knowledge will be into your heart. And that's why only Allah have uloom al awwaleen wa akhireen. They are more powerful than Google. Used to be Yahoo but Yahoo went out of business. There's only one Yah. Welcome to Rumi Rose Garden Cafe. We offer an exclusive line of more than 40 teas, custom blended with ingredients from around the world. Rumi also offers an excellent locally roasted Italian coffee and other hot beverages. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. After years of effort and so many emails and so many comments from people that, Jay, what am I supposed to recite at Fajr time? What am I supposed to recite at Salat al Maqrib? What was Mawlana Shaykh's dua for this type of situation? What was the awrad for this and for that? 
And the brothers have come together with the Muhammadan Way app available at the Google Play Store, iTunes, as a tremendous resource to all those questions that you'll find everything there from the books, from the articles, from the awrads, from the du'as. And it's a, a loving work in progress. They are continuously trying to improve that app. And we welcome anyone who has comments on how to improve it and what they'd like to see on the app. And it works offline. If you're in an area where there's no internet, you can use and recite the app. And we welcome you to download and to give your comments. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sitting in an association of ilmu yaqeen, if you're not sitting in the association of ilmu yaqeen, you're wasting your time. They begin to teach, you have to be trained on ayna yaqeen, that the eyes of your head will get you nowhere. It's the eye of the soul and the eye of the heart that has to be trained. They begin to teach, Ayn is the eye of certainty. Ayn al Yaqeen is also the Ayn of Al Alim. Zafat al Alim that Allah is going to give you the two Ayn. That one, I'm going to train you, close your physical eyes. Because your physical eyes are a distraction for you, you're looking at all the wrong things, and those things are going to bring darkness onto your heart. Live a life in which you close your eyes and put yourself into darkness. And many times they train themselves where they're shut off in a room. You go there, there's no lights, there's nobody in contact with that person and they sit in darkness. And they sit in darkness and they sit in darkness and they light one candle for re reading Qur'an of Dalal Khirat. And they play their salawat and Durud the sharif and they say, Ya Rabbi this is my grave. Until you open the lights of my grave, I'm not leaving these rooms. And every night from Asr to Maghrib they would seclude themselves until they trained themselves, trained themselves, trained themselves and order of Prophet came that now put that one into seclusion. So they put hardship on themselves. They make a room and a closet and they say, Ya Rabbi this is my qab, this is my grave. Either my grave will be illuminated in life, I don't want it in death. And they sit and they begin to practice and practice and practice. And if Allah finds sincerity in what they do, begin to emanate and open their basir, open their eyes. Open the eye of their heart and of their soul. If that eye begins to open, that room becomes illuminated from their heart. And through the eyes of their soul, they see what Allah wants them to see from the love of their shaykhs, love of Sayyidina Muhammad and love of Divinely Presence. And through that Allah says, since you open that ayn, I'm going to dress you from my ancient qadeem ayn. I'm going to dress you from Sifat al Alim. Means that I'm going to give you from my ancient knowledges. Which were who? Sayyidina Ali, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Uthman. They were the sahib and the owners of the ayn. They were the owners of Allah's ancient realities. That I'm going to dress you, that sifat will bless you, that sifat will give you all illuminations and lights within your heart. That you merely make your tafakkur and your contemplation and what you seek out of knowledges and realities, it begins to flow into the heart and emanate upon the tongue. They are not the people who read a book and talk to an audience. The loom and the knowledges that you speak have to be something that you experience. Is that knowledge came in, went into the heart through your tafakkur and through your contemplation, you saw the reality of that knowledge, you tasted and experienced that knowledge. 
it becomes a haq for you. Anything other than that, if you talk about something that you haven't experienced, you are a liar in their presence because it's a lie, you didn't experience it. So the ilm yaqeen, ayn yaqeen, haq yaqeen begin to open and that becomes the source of reality, that becomes the dress of Yaseen Means from the heart is beginning to open these realities for the ashiqeen, uh, ahbab and nabi that they are the lovers of Prophet and they are the doorkeepers of the reality because they need that reality, they want to be dressed by these realities. Pray that Allah dress us from these realities, bless us from these realities, increase us in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhanahu wa bika rabbil izzata amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil